study on integrated conversation strategy of the buffer zones of historical ancient cities from the perspective of coordinated development of new and old urban areas. A case study on the space around the Qingzhou ancient city. In the process of urban modernization in China, historical ancient cities, most of which lie in the center of cities, undergo constant transformation and renovation inward and expand outward. In history, the marginal zone formed by the consolidation of the city walls has gradually changed into a special zone of half city and half country in the process of internal and external two-way erosion. Integration is negated in the renewal of ancient cities and the construction of the new urban area. On one hand, there are many problems in terms of transformation of ancient city. Too fast, too big, and large traffic pressure and the historical feature and the landscape characteristic is losing due to large population and construction density. On the other hand, there are also some problems in the growth of new urban areas, urban contest being ignored and the single industrial structure. Conflicts mainly gather in the surrounding zone of the historic culture city as a result the buffer zone between the ancient and the new urban areas plays an important role in terms of coordination of the ancient city style, closure of traffic and functional deconstruction, etc. However, in the context of the conversation of ancient cities as the main body, the value of buffer zone has not been paid much attention to the practice of conversation planning of historical ancient city in China, and the lacks corresponding theoretical support. In reality, the boundary development of historic city is approaching the historical heritage itself and causing it to lose the original historic aura. These two figures show two different surrounding zones of historical heritage. The black in the left represents heritage site and the red stands for modern urban area, while there is a yellow buff zone between heritage site and the modern urban area while others think that there should be a buffer zone between heritage site and the modern urban area, functioning as transition of ancient and new hist history and the modern. The proposal and the evolution of the concept of buffer zone. By studying documents on international heritage conservation, We realize that the buffer zone becomes a way to heritage conversation from being dispensable. It covers a wide urban background and the geographic environment, transcending the old history oriented or the whole area. Buffer zone combines heritage conversation and the social economic growth. Material and the long material elements are both considered. At first, the heritage conversation only focuses on continuing heritage, but now it considers the relevant social, economic, and cultural value. So, integrated protection of historic heritage and its surrounding zone can be achieved in a more perfect and scientific way. Research on strategies of the development of buffer zone in historical ancient city.
A case study on space around the Jinzhou ancient city. Buffer zone of Jinzhou ancient city covers the peripheral area of ancient city wall. The planted area is about 8.38 square kilometer, as large as about 1.78 of the ancient city. Current situation of Jinzhou ancient city and the new area around it. First, styles and features of Huancheng area are too difficult and lack transition. Buildings show two distinct regional styles. Second, Jinzhou ancient city suffers heavily traffic due to highly centralized service facilities and uh, commuting. Also, it's so limited by the widest of city gates and the roads that it can't be laid out reasonably as the newly constructed. Next, uh, functions are distributed disproportionately with low commercial level. Insufficient cultural resource and victorious product system. Strategy of the development of Buffer Zone of Jinzhou ancient city. Coordinate ancient and the new characteristic of ancient city. Prohibit a large scale of highly centralized pseudo classic architecture. Renovation in central points enhanced. The whole area completed and the light connection formed. Ancient and the new elements blended harmoniously and jointly. A modern city is a picture with a modern characteristic and the height of the architecture in proper control and the area along the river. Second, Traffic interception in ancient city. To keep the strategy independent, vehicles around the city will be intercepted in small circle lights within every district. Outside of small circle lights and the three blocked streets, parking facilities are centralized to intercept it. Uh, tourist buses outside the ancient city. Decrease density and optimize function layout in ancient city and support industrial growth in new area. Move resource intensive and labor intensive industrial out. Second, cultural resource of ancient city coordinate growth planning of ancient city. Cultural tourist lives of the ancient city extend outward. The final conclusion, this paper puts forward the conservation and the development strategies in three aspects, transportation inside and outside the ancient city, in direction of the new and old styles, and the industrial planning transfer in view of the buffer zone with half urban and half rural environmental characteristic between the ancient city and the new area, hoping to promote unified planning of renewal in of ancient city and the construction of new area to ensure the coordinating development of them, so as to realize more comprehensive and scientific implementation of the overall conservation plan of the Asian city and the buffer zone within it. That's all, thank you.